this may look like your typical Nintendo Game Boy, but when danger strikes, it can form into Game Boy Tron. Go, speaker boost. Super game light. And then magnifying plate. Whoa, wow. Game Boy Tron, go! Yeah, so this is a little bit ridiculous. But these are uh, three very interesting Game Boy accessories from the company Newbie. I haven't seen that name in a while. So we've got the Game Light. It's actually, sadly, it doesn't work anymore. And it takes two 9 volt batteries anyway. But you can see there's a little light bulb in back there. It's very small, but so that would light up your screen. It's always a necessity for this old Game Boy console. It's very hard to see screen. And then you've got this uh, magnifying glass lines up in front of that. So it kind of makes it seem bigger, not by much. And then finally, you have this, this speaker boost, which is actually pretty cool. So that uh, hooks up through the headphone jack on the bottom of the Game Boy. This also runs on batteries, of course. Um, uh, takes a nine volt battery. So yeah, there's your, your mini plug. Goes right into the headphone jack, like so. And then you turn it on. Let's pop a game in here. So let's, let's see what Mario Land sounds like. So that's uh, Mario Land. It's still pretty blurry. That's rough. Um, let's get some volume going in this thing. Yeah. So even when uh, you have this plugged in, it still uses the volume control of the Game Boy. And it basically is just a, you know, big boost from this one speaker into two speakers. It gets about three to four times as loud. So you need some bumping Mario bass. That's, that's kind of interesting. It's, it sounds pretty distorted, um, which might be a little bit hard to hear on the video, but yeah, it's, it's not bad. That's, that's kind of a cool thing if you want to play your Game Boy games loud annoy someone else on the train. Yeah, take this thing on a train or a bus. See what, what kind of looks you get from people. Game Boy Tron will eat you.